helps the voiceless creature. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Wet Tutorial. In this video, we are going to study about the inflammatory terms of digestive system. Before starting the inflammatory term, I just want to tell you the meaning of inflammation. So in inflammation, the in means what is happening and inflammation is known as red in color. So the definition of inflammation is it is a local complicated vascular and cellular response of the living tissue or living individual to an injury or irritant or it is a simply a reaction of microcirculation and its content to the local injury. Here the microcirculation means small arterioles, venules, capillaries and it contents refers to the blood, plasma and cells. First let's start with the digestive system. In the digestive system first is oral cavity. So inflammation of mucosa of oral cavity or buccal cavity is known as stomatitis. Then let's see inside the oral cavity. So the inflammation of lips is known as chilitis. Inflammation of gums is known as gingivitis. Inflammation of tongue is known as glossitis. Inflammation of palates is known as palitis or lampus. Inflammation of tooth is known as odontitis. Then inflammation of tonsils is known as tonsillitis. Then if we move outside the oral cavity, there is pharynx. So the inflammation of pharynx is known as pharyngitis. Inflammation of esophagus is known as esophagitis. Inflammation of rumen is known as rumenitis. Inflammation of reticulum is known as reticulitis. Inflammation of omasum is known as omasitis. Inflammation of abomasum is known as abomasitis. Inflammation of simple stomach is known as gastritis. Then inflammation of the intestine is known as enteritis. Inflammation of the cecum is known as stephlitis. Inflammation of colon is known as colonitis. Inflammation of rectum is known as proctitis. Inflammation of liver is known as hepatitis. Then inflammation of gallbladder is known as cholecystitis. Then inflammation of bile duct is known as cholangitis. Then inflammation of pancreas is known as pancreatitis. Then inflammation of spleen is known as splenitis. Then inflammation of peritoneum is known as peritonitis. Then inflammation of salivary gland is known as sialadenitis. In case of avians, inflammation of crop is known as ingluvitis. Inflammation of proventriculus is known as proventriculitis. Then inflammation of gizzard or ventriculum is known as ventriculitis. Here we end the inflammatory terms of digestive system. In the next video, we are going to see the inflammatory terms of nervous system. Stay safe and let's meet in the next video.